Hey guys, Joanne here with Newegg TV. I'm here to do an overview on this Noctua NH-L12 CPU cooler. A couple things I want to note before getting into the box. It is a dual fan design. It has a 120 millimeter fan sitting atop the fins and a 92 millimeter fan just below it. And if you want to reduce the overall height, um, you could take off the 120 millimeter fan and just keep the 92 millimeter for an overall height of 66 millimeters. And both fans come with PWM support for um, automatic speed control, and it comes with PsycheFirm 2 mounting system, which is compatible with, with LGA 2011, 1366, 1156, 1155, 775 sockets, and AMD AM2, AM, uh, AM2+, plus, AM3, AM3+, plus, and FM1 sockets. They are mind that for the AMD setup, you will need to use the stock backplate that comes with your AMD motherboard. And a useful thing they've included are these mini ITX mounting screws in case you have a mini ITX board that doesn't allow you to install a backplate. Finally, it does come with Noctua's own NTH1 thermal compound. Now for a couple specs. For the 120 millimeter fan, the max RPM is 1500, and with the low noise adapter attached, you get 1200 RPM. Max airflow is 54.97 CFM, and with the low noise adapter, is 43.73 CFM. Max acoustical noise is 22.4 decibel and with the low noise adapter 18.6 decibel. And here are the specs for your 92 millimeter fan. These are the accessories included in the box. First up we have some installation guides for your AMD as well as Intel um, installation and they've included it in these nice little individual <coughs> packets for you. Over here we have a screwdriver, packet of accessories, your AMD and Intel set, nice and individually labeled. I'll, but I'll go over that in just a little bit. First, this uh, bag of accessories. We have some, oops, some fan screws, anti-vibration rubber grommets. This is a metal case badge, your thermal compound. And let's see, these two are your low noise adapters. And this is your Y cable. And finally, your extension cable. Here's a quick demo of the installation for the AMD and Intel sockets. First up, I'll, I'll do the AMD because it's just much simpler. You'll want to install it with the curves facing inward like this. And you take the mounting bar, take a long screw like this, put it through the hole, and then put the plastic spacer over it, just like this, and you're done. <coughs> now for the Intel LJ2011 socket, you'll want to take these bolts and bolt it into, onto your uh, motherboard socket frame, then take this mounting bar, just like this, and this thumb screw, secure it into place. Finally, for the just move this. Oopsies. For the rest of the Intel uh, sockets, you'll need to use this backplate. But one thing before I get into the inst installation process is that for all sockets except for I mean Intel sockets except for 775, you'll want to remove this rubber inlay. So there we go. Next, you want to take these screws here and. Push it through the back just like this. And you want to make sure that these screws are fully um, pressed in. Then you take these plastic spacers and you just put them on over it just like this. Finally, the mounting bar. Put it in the correct hole depending on your socket. And finally, secure it into place with this thumb screw. And that's it. One last thing is that these are the special screws that are for your uh, specific mini ITX motherboards. Here's the CPU cooler itself, but before I get into the technical details, I want to mention that they've included this rubber bar here for you for shipping purposes so that your copper heat pipes will not bend or go out of place. Very, very nice. Here is your 120 millimeter fan with its four pin connector and the 92 millimeter fan with its four pin connector. 
currently set up for a push-pull configuration. And like I've mentioned earlier, you can just have the 92 millimeter fan um, for a, a reduced overall height of the heatsink. So let me remove the top 120 to give you a view of its aluminum fins and comes with four nickel plated copper heat pipes as well as a nickel plated copper contact base which is ooh, very smooth and shiny oops give me a moment there and this is your mounting plate with screws and finally one last thing are these two holes here on your fins. This is where the screw, screwdriver comes into play. You just put it through the holes and screw it into place onto your motherboard. That wraps up our overview on this Noctual NHL12 CPU cooler. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.